Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we've got a little bit of an update on the Twitch situation. Twitch, which laid off one third of its staff last week. Now the CEO is upset that uh, that news was leaked early. And uh, he's actually been busted saying that Twitch is not profitable. It's mm -hmm. never been profitable. Now remember, they they switched it so you're they're taking fifty percent of the creator's money. But yeah, it's not profitable. Yeah, it was uh, a seventy thirty split um, for the longest time, and then I think it was a year or two ago they they switched it to fifty fifty, and that's when their views were up because a lot of people were watching Twitch during the pandemic, and um, yeah, Twitch is just not not in a good place right now. And look, I don't think Amazon is going to keep it around much longer. It, it could save money if they weren't in San Francisco. They could, they could, they could move it to Texas. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, I mean, Amazon, look, they've owned Twitch almost a decade. They can't make it make money. If Amazon can't make it make money, I don't think anybody's mm -hmm. gonna be able to make it make money. I'm just I'm just saying, because they never really had a lot of ads. They started pushing for ads and that, that pissed off some of the, some of the on-air talent. I guess we're gonna call them that. And then, you know, my understanding is that they, they relaxed their nudity guidelines to try to, as yes. a last ditch effort before the end of the year to get some revenue in. And that, that blew up in their faces because that pissed off the advertisers and uh, the parents and yeah. They're like, oh, Twitch isn't for kids. I'm like, kids go on Twitch to watch Fortnite. You know what? Like, come yeah. on. They seriously, seriously. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. Shopclownfish.com. Last day, last, last day I'm going to mention this. Uh, you can pick up a copy of Crimson Ran or previously on Clownfish TV. These books are in stock. They're shipping They'll every ship day. They'll ship on all the rest. That haven't shipped will ship on Tuesday. Yeah, we'll ship them out Tuesday because uh, Monday is a holiday. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to ship them out the last batch. Um, and thank you very much for your support. We had a couple come back. I'm going to uh, reach out to you people and, and uh, you know, get you your get you your books. Uh, so make sure when you give us your address, it's correct. Please, please. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. Um, he was upset that. It was leaked early, I guess, by by Bloomberg that they were going to lay off a third of their their staff. Well, they probably weren't telling like telling these people. Yeah. And then, hey, surprise! Surprise! So we're gonna um, let's go out and see what he said first. This was actually his his Zoom chat, I guess, with people. Where when he, was this? Uh, last week. It was sometime last week where he admitted that Twitch was not profitable at all. That we've implied this before. Um, where we say we need to run it sustainably, but you know, I can be, I'll be blunt. We aren't profitable at this point. Amazon. Is wow. Okay. Well, let's, let's rewind that part. At this point, Amazon has been extremely supportive of Twitch. We're not profitable. We're not profitable at blunt. this point. We aren't profitable at this point. Amazon has been extremely supportive of Twitch. Um, it's tax write off. A big thing for being sustainable over time is ensuring that, um, we don't lose money. Yeah, Amazon doesn't want you to lose money. My job, yep. that's going to be what makes sure we can be here for a long term. That we've implied this before. Okay, you can start again. He's yeah, again. Yeah. So that's how we're going to be here long term. We have to make money to be here long term. Amazon's been putting up with us. Thank you, Amazon. But they're not putting up with it any longer because we have to be profitable now. Yep. Yeah. So how long can you run an unprofitable business? Now, you can't when things are good. And your other divisions are making all kinds of money. You can bankroll the unprofitable business. In fact, it might be to your benefit to do that because you can use it as a tax shelter. And a lot of companies do that. They we actually, talked about that just yesterday. We're talking, yeah. Um, you know, Amazon is cutting back in Prime Video and all that. But they're if they're making too much money, then if they have another division that doesn't make any money or actually is in the negative, that's good because they can say, well, at least we tried. Mm -hmm. But you can only do that for so long, you know, and now that everything has to make money, uh, we're seeing a lot of layoffs across everything that Jeff Bezos owns. And, uh, you know, maybe he wants to buy himself a new rocket ship or something. But, um, yeah, so this is interesting. One of the first replies to uh, the, the account that posted this was uh, Locale. Uh, John says, I'm Twitch's target demographic. and I've never heard of it until I asked, what is this Where icon on been? my PlayStation? What? What? I played video games my whole life. I watch anything tech or gaming on TV. I always consume to make content. We need new views, a working TV app. Well, I, I don't know how you don't know what Twitch is, but how okay. How do you not know what Twitch is? Well, because Twitch, look, Twitch gave up on gamers a long time ago. 
like Twitch was for gamers. They gave up on gamers a long time ago, and now they're they're chasing e girls. I mean, let's be honest. That's that's their demographic. They're now. trying to be well. They seem like they're trying to be OnlyFans. I'm surprised people are acting like this is new news. It's more so it's finally been confirmed. Exactly. Yes. Everybody knew Twitch yes. wasn't doing well. I mean, he's flat out got busted saying that it, it isn't profitable. This is after they've took on advertisers, after they took half the revenue and all this. And the, and the argument was, so we can be profitable, guys, and we can keep keep Twitch around. But now he's saying Twitch still isn't profitable. And it's the way it sounds, reading between the lines, is Amazon says make it profitable or you're done. It's the way it sounds. But that is, yeah. And that explains why they, they push for the nudity because they saw, you know, other platforms making money, OnlyFans making money on that. And that's why they're pushing everybody to sub, sub, sub. Well, they'll sub for boobs, you know, uh, because th if they're not subbing for gameplay, they'll sub for that. They'll simp for that. But they had, you know, people like Amaranth up and leave and go to kick. They said they have this, uh, this is a priest T on, on Twitter says, they have an affiliate program. They take 50% sub revenue and run tons of ads, but they aren't profitable. How exactly are they at a loss? Uh, a response says servers are expensive. They're actually running on Amazon's servers. So I don't think servers are that expensive for them. I just think they have a lot of overhead. They have a lot of bloat. I think that's um, correct right there, that, that one there. Yeah, I have the millions of people that go live on Twitch, literally only a fraction I, of a percent make fresh. money. I, I don't know if it's that low, but... Yes, I think that's what it is. Because we saw this on other platforms too. Like YouTube's one of them. People were mad where you had to have so many things. You had to have so many subscribers and so many, so much watch time at one point. I don't think they walked that back uh, to get monetized. Um, the reason being is because you there's only a small percentage of people that actually make the money. The rest of you just, you know, kind of there. Freeloaders. And I'm not trying to, to, to yeah. be mean about it. I know no. the same thing happened like on... Um, like tapas and webtoons and stuff. People are yes. mad. Like, why do these people get money? Not everybody else gets yes. money. And it's like, because they bring they're the money. ones bringing the subs yep. that bring all the traffic that get us the money to begin with, where you guys, you know, aren't, you all want to demand the moon and demand that no, no one better steal my content. It's like, they aren't gonna, I'm not trying to be a, a bitch. I'm just saying you aren't the ones that are, the people are interested in. And, and that sounds really, well, how I say it, it sounds mean. And I don't mean it mean. It's, I, I'm just saying that it, it's true. Only if a, a a fraction of the the numbers of people on there put it, performing on Twitch actually make them money. Try paying for video hosting on your own, and and having the bandwidth to be able to to get that video out there and not have it you know choke out when you have a bunch of people watching thousands of people watching you at a time. It's yeah. You know it's 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 expensive. I mean it is expensive. Now do I think that. Uh, Twitch has a lot of uh, costs associated That's with it. That's what they that, said here too down below. That aren't directly related. Uh, to to streaming, yeah, I think Twitch could honestly be run by a skeleton crew, but they still have even gutting it. They still have like what a thousand employees or something like that. And before that, they 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 cut a bunch last year. They had a bunch of people whose job it was at Twitch to police content. I think that's a large part of it too. Like they had so they had people. I think are avoiding Twitch because there's so much money restrictions and there's so much drama around it you know people were getting banned because they had the word sheet in their name yes you know they were getting banned for that and i think that i don't think that helped them any yeah um so he said they aren't he's lying to us i i i know i i mean it could be creative accounting too but whatever whatever is actually going on at twitch it's not good uh, the look on his face tells me that he's told, and this is an older guy, so he's probably getting close to retirement, right? Anyway, but they had their CEO jump ship last year, their original CEO, the guy that came with the company. And this guy came in. And I think this is a last ditch effort to to turn this thing around or it's getting shut down or, or sold off. Or like the, the whole tax shelter thing, it is profitable, but they, you know, make it that it isn't so that they can keep writing off for tax shelter. That could be too. I mean, I don't know what's, what's actually I mean, going does, on. Other side of it, it's, that's completely possible too. But but as a content creator, I'm going to look at Twitch and I'm going to be like, run away because it doesn't look very stable, you know, from the outside, like them laying people off like that. The two rounds of massive layoffs, uh, your top talent jumping ship for kick, cutting back on the uh, creator revenue split. All of these things scream to me sinking ship, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I wouldn't, I would like now is not a good time. If you're thinking, Hey, I want to start streaming video games on Twitch. Don't, mm -mm. I don't think it's a good, plus we saw what they did with some of their top talent, Dr. Disrespect. I don't think we've ever gotten a straight story as That's to true. why he got banned. So when every time one of their top, their top talent 
people leave, they take all their fans with them. Yes, they're there for the the talent, not for the platform. Right. So wherever they go, the talent or the the fans follow, and that yes. also is probably costing them a lot of views. Well, yeah, because Amaranth was one of the biggest people there. I don't know how many. There there are like four or five big streamers that their biggest streamers, I think, that left. Twitch. And again, they're taking that audience with them. And what might happen is they'll take them over the kick. Maybe they, they went to kick just to watch Amaranth, but they're like, Hey, there's some other stuff here. I want to watch too. Oh yeah. Well, I mostly watched Amaranth and some other stuff on Twitch, but I don't even need to log into Twitch now because everything I want's on kick or on YouTube or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's, what's going to happen. And you're only as good as your, your content creators. And if they're all leaving, you know, for whatever the reason is, some of them I know went to Rumble too. There were a couple of them, they, they got banned off of Twitch for stupid reasons and they went to Rumble too. So all, you know, you used to have all these, these streamers centralized and that's not the, not the case anymore, but he was pissed. He was pissed at uh, leaked early, I guess. This come what from, did, what did he say? Yeah, this come from the LA times. Um, he said, I want to acknowledge how disappointed I was yesterday that this information leaked. Uh, Dan Clancy wrote in a, in a memo. memo that also leaked. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm also sorry for all the anxiety that it caused over the last several hours. Our hope was that all of you would hear from us this morning and very quickly understand how this impacted your role. And we were unfortunately not able to accelerate the timeline, which I know is very <gasps> frustrating. So basically translation, I am really sorry that y'all found out early so that you're all stressed and then spamming all the management. Um, we weren't going to tell you to the day, uh, but, oh, well. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I any of these companies, when they start having massive rounds of layoffs like this, when there's talk of the company getting sold or whatever, I've, I've been down this road before. The warning signs are there. It is time to freaking leave. And yeah, they're in San Francisco. They said they paid out a billion dollars to streamers last year. So while Twitch remains strong, for some time now, the organization has been sized based upon where we optimistically expected our business to be in three or more years, not where we're at today. Yeah, basically, but yeah, venture capital and, you know, and, and, and we expected it to grow bigger, but, you know, we've done fucked up several times and people left. Uh, yeah. And, and they're trying to say, oh, uh, he hoped that employees at Twitch, best known as the home for popular video game live streamers, not anymore, it's, it's known for e-girls, would learn about the layoffs directly from the company Wednesday morning. Well, like the before that, as many of the companies in the tech space, we are as as with many other companies, we're, we are now sizing our organization based upon the current scale of our business and conservative predictions at how we're going to grow. So we're no longer, you know, hiring a lot of people in case we get really big. You oh, know, yeah. to tell venture capitalists and investors we have we have so many people because we're so big. Now <sighs> we have to walk it back to actually hiring who we actually need. Right. And how how is that gonna how is that gonna look though to shareholders? It's not to, good. Like, oh, we bought Twitch almost 10 years ago. It's been almost 10 years. We bought Twitch almost 10 years ago and it hasn't turned a profit yet. They'd in be 10 like years. in 10 years. They'd be like, cut it loose. Well, I honestly think it's, it's more, it I think it's more to do with tax shelter. Yeah. If, if, in my opinion, I think it's more to do with that. Um, and now it's gotten to a place where they're like, no, we have to either make it work or get rid of it. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's January. We told you, we told you in, in January, a lot of companies are going to wait until the, the new year because they don't want to be, it, they don't want to be perceived as being douchebags by letting people off at the holidays, right? So they wait until the new year and then they're going to be douchebags. Mm -hmm. But this was coming. Every one of these companies are looking at their, their balance sheets and they're like, damn, we cannot afford to just pay people to do nothing, to bring nothing to the table. Mm -mm. Like, you know, we can get rid of 10 activists and hire one qualified programmer, which is actually going to make us money. And that's what they need to be doing. But again, you know, that, that venture capital, uh, that, that investment money, that was free flowing, free wheeling. Everybody was just spend, spend, spend. And you're going to have a whole generation of people that thought going to work, especially in a place like San Francisco was you go in, you have your, you know, umpteen coffee breaks and your, your day spa and your adult day caring and all that. And they're in for a rude, rude, rude awakening mm -hmm. because the tech space isn't going to want them. They want people that can program. They want people that uh, can manage projects effectively. They want people that can multitask and people who bring value to the company. Because I, I forget what the breakdown was, but I know I had a guy tell me before that you had like two tiers of, of employees. You had your, like your overhead employees, which are your office staff, which, you know, and it's kind of whatever. If they bring it, they bring it. If not, they, then you have your production workers, which they actually, you have to, you basically pay them based on what you expect to get back in their time. If you're paying them $25 an hour, then they need to bring like $75 an hour 
in business or hundred dollars an hour in business. And that that's what they're going to look at. If, if you're not a programmer, if you can't bring any value to the company, you're out the damn door. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wrap it up. Yep. Yeah. All right. So uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants guys. We'll talk later. Bye.